Hello everyone and now welcome. Welcome to a game between Happy versus, well, the Russian Johnny Cage. This game taking place here on Tide Hunters, an undead versus human matchup. Happy has spawned as the red undead on the top left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Johnny Cage spawning as the yellow human over here on the bottom right. Human versus undead, um, a matchup, well, that generally favors undead and with Happy be at the helm, We'll see what Johnny Cage offers and brings to the table in this uh, classic matchup, which normally favors Undead. Undead opening up with, well, Undeath Knight, no big surprise here. Happy, known for very cold and I'll calculating tactics, doesn't um, reinvent all too often, but absolutely perfects, perfects that strategy until it is, well, nearly as focused as a laser being able to execute those strategies very well. Meanwhile, coming back across on the other side, a little bit of damage being dealt across there. Gloves of Haste going to get picked up, and Johnny Hage already moving out, already clearing things up with the help of those militia there. Death Knight trying to use Skeletal Minions, trying to clear after this Forest Troll Berserker, doing a Skeletal Minion only, and that may be because there are additional ghouls on a Lumber as we are now going into a graveyard. Six or well, there are three ghouls on number just trying to well, harvest away. Graveyard is now done. Tech to tier two has already begun as the death knight a little bit slower in terms of creeping as it is only creeping out with skeletal minions. Coming back to the other side, the death knight now going to go after this murloc creep camp. Meanwhile, archmage of Johnny Cage looking to clear things up and perhaps set up an expansion of his own. All right, should be no problem whatsoever trying to harvest a little bit of lumber for a little bit of time. Not quite sure what would be the reason for that un unless a lumber mill was absolutely okay, necessary. Footman and Archmage still trying to stay relatively close here. Um, what's going on? Where are they going to try and build a tower or do something? I don't know just quite yet. All right, they are all ready to go, perhaps waiting for a little bit of, of gold. There you are, now going to go ahead, but in comes the Death Knight, already coming in with some Skeletal Minions and also one Acolyte. Acolyte not going to amount to very much. Death Knight does not, oh, it does have an additional charge on that Rod of Necromancy. Double Gloves of Haste as the positioning on this building, very effective, making it very difficult to try and take down these peasants who are currently at work. Skeletal Minions now making their way over, additional militia now making their way over as the gold, as the gold bag of that peasant allows him to phase through his own units and now slip away. Alright, units are attacking back and forth here. We're looking at one Skeletal Minion getting taken down, another Acolyte going to get taken down there. A plenty of militia to try and take over in this situation, perhaps getting a bit of additional building on as well. Tech to Tier 2, three quarters of the way done. And from there, we should be looking at Happy trying to do a plethora of things, getting a Lich, check to Tier 3, and setting up a Slaughterhouse. Not necessarily in that order, um, as all of those three things do need to happen, but change from time to time in terms of order based on what needs to be done. Archmage gets to level 3 pretty much on the dot. Level 2, Water Elementals, a sudden power spike for Johnny Cage as he should be able to push back any additional aggression with the help of a level 2 water elemental, a bit of additional hit points, and a little bit more damage on his auto attack. Coming back down here, we are looking at the gold mine, trying to mine away scout tower already done. Death Knight now going to make its way over. Death Knight does have a new rod of necromancy. Arcane tower is not yet done, and here we are. Engagement already getting underway as another peasant will get taken down. Meanwhile, Scout Tower down to 200 hit points. Is it going to get repaired? It is trying to be repaired, but it is going to be difficult for those repairs to be done as the Scout Tower is destroyed after canceling that upgrade to tier or to the Arcane Tower. Water Elemental now trying to dive on in behind here. Crypt Fiends now trying to retreat back. We do have an expansion here and more militia from Johnny Cage. 22 workers um, allowing some of these to be sacrificed here as these skeletal minions could end up getting taken out. All right, Archmage coming back across here trying to get some lasting damage. So many peasants, so many militia. Skeletal minions should get taken down. Low hit point Skeletal Mage 1, low hit point Skeletal Mage 2 as those units are still trying to retreat back. All right, more and more skeletal mages have been taken down. An additional, what, 48 experience given there for the Archmage. Meanwhile, the Death Knight has double backed around and said, Surprise, I haven't really gone anywhere. I'm still here, ready for some action. However, well, the Rod of Necromancy is completely done. Only a handful of uh, skeletal minions are left here as a new tower going to get added in. 
Death Knight now trying to retreat back, still sitting only at level two. Archmage is re ready to go for an engagement. Death Knight has plenty of mana, goes for a quick death oil here and opts to not wait until it gets to level three. All right, we do see the Lich now getting trained up. We see the Slaughterhouse, no tech to tier two as of yet. Is this going to be Ted's timing push? And well, um, well, Ted's timing push, perhaps one one obsidian statue and then adding in one meat wagon to put pressure while Johnny Cage is still sitting at tier one. No tower down across here for Johnny Cage. That skeletal minion could cause a bit of problems. One militia just whistling while he does nothing. Not even working as the Lich now picking up those gloves of haste and that auto attack for a little bit of range auto attack damage. Death Knight does have a rod of necromancy now chasing back the other way. Archmage now trying to retreat back. Death Knight and Lich now ready for that strong push off over here as that water elemental could easily get taken down. Auto attacks and all of that galore. Is the Death Knight going to gain the experience or is it going to be a well-timed denial? That is going to be the question. Death Knight gets the experience and gets closer to level 3. All right, Arcane Vault getting added in here. Water Elemental, big Frost Nova across the group of peasants there as those peasants could end up getting taken down. Arcane Tower trying to um, well cover the Arcane Vault and allow it to be built. Archmage now bringing up an art. Well, it does bring up a um, um, bit of Clarity Potion to try to get a little bit of mana as the Death Knight now looks to retreat back. More repairs underway. Footmen do have Defend, but the Lich's auto attack damage is still very high, even still at level 1. More damage pushing on through the other way. Lich and the Archmage battling it up back and forth. Footmen trying to engage here, trying to put pressure back onto the other side as those uh, well, all of these the Crypt Fiends are now looking to retreat. A little bit more damage being added up back onto that Crypt Fiend there. Meanwhile, the Water Elemental going to give level 3 to the Death Knight. And now level 3 Death Knight with level 2 Water or level 2 Death Coil and Obsidian Statue means extra mana for that Death Knight as well. You can see he's actually micro the Obsidian Statue to cast both of those abilities at, from time to time. As you can see the Death Knight right there. There you go. You see the Essence of Blight and Essence of Mana. Every little bit of micro coming across here as Johnny Cage is having a bit of trouble. 48 supply compared to 39 but the army size of Johnny Cage is just that much larger. The infrastructure is better for Johnny Cage, but if, if he starts losing too many of it, these bases and these peasants, he'll just feed additional experience to that Lich as well. Death Knight still in that front line position, not really in any danger yet, as the Lich is actually a bit low on mana, can't really engage here. All of those foot or all of these um, crypt fiends trying to push back all of this damage here as the Death Knight finally retreats back Archmage while trying to bully that Death Knight from that position and able to do exactly that. However, we'll need a little bit of a refresher. Water Elemental now being dropped down. Lich still doesn't have enough mana. Auto attacks very, 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 very quick here as the Mountain King now shows up to the party and now suddenly it is a party as Johnny Cage's Stormbolt could catch a couple of units off guard. Death Knight still has plenty of mana though and the Death Knight has plenty of hit points himself and any Stormbolt onto a unit probably not just going to be answered with a quick 400 hit point heal from that death knight instead all right we are going now into weapon upgrades for all of those footmen here um, and additional infrastructure mortar teams teching into tier three perhaps we are going to be going into fly machines or mortars and knights as the counter play as the footmen trying to fend off all of these attacks here footmen with plenty of defend there goes a frost nova onto the mountain king mountain king with a potion of healing now turns back around stormbolt onto the death knight death knight not really in danger will just stick around in this fight getting a little bit of damage and now look to back up as this arcane vault holds the door here making it much more narrow as a second obsidian statue has joined in on the battle all right we are going for a third obsidian statue and destroyer form upgrade level two now on the lich as the arcane tower well pokes away at that death knight here lich still trying to finish off some of those additional units lich having a little bit of mana here as the well the peasants are going to get taken down death knight now tries to make its way forward getting a little bit uh, absorbing a little bit of damage once more as a death while Stormboy goes down there. All right, Death Knight trying to, well, perhaps try and shut down that Mountain King. Doesn't even, doesn't even have the opportunity, but doesn't need to throw a Death Coil down onto that Crypt Fiend either, as a third Obsidian Statue now joining in on the fight here. One very low hip or low mana Obsidian Statue could take to the skies in just a moment. Staff of, sta well, Staff of Sanctuary saving, I believe, the Mountain King, as the Mountain King still hasn't gained any experience after all this time. A lot of mic or a lot of small small damage being added in the arcane vault looks like it is finally going to get taken down all of that additional gold being spent to try and train up peasants to train all of those units up as the lich is still sitting at level two 
units now retreating back. Triple Obsidian Statues Ghouls now joining in on the fight here. Happy sitting in no upkeep still. And Johnny Cage with more gold, but nothing to really show for it as of yet. Now, he is double training up fly or fly machines and getting up those flat cannons. He does have dual barracks and will be able to train up some knights and also having a paladin as that third and final hero. Johnny Cage should be breaking breaking free here in just a moment, perhaps getting some up upgrades as well. Animal war training should be necessary as the knights are out here on the battlefield. Two knights, Archmage, Mountain King, and Paladin working together here to perhaps get to level two on each of those units and now finally breaking into low upkeep. Has Johnny Cage held the door long enough? Will he be able to build up a strong enough army to combat his opponent um, who is well rather powerful as we see a potion of invulnerability being picked up there? Death Knight will get to level 4, Lich will get to level 3, Lich coming in with plus 15 auto attack and double gloves of haste for a fast attack speed and for that negative arm, well plus 21. Alright, that Lich's auto attack is pretty much constantly critical striking, uh, normally does 28 to 34 damage, instead doing 49 to 56 damage per attack. Coming back across onto the other side here, this red creep camp should get cleared up here pretty easily. Only a, um, only the level 6 creep is left, and that is going to be pretty easy to clear up. Level 2 now on that Mountain King. Paladin should be following right behind. Are we going to see some more Staff of Sanctuaries as well? There's level 2 on that Paladin getting Divine Shield as the opportunity as the flying machines are overhead. All right, getting ready for an engagement here. There's a little bit of attack, and now in comes a possible flank. 71 supply compared to 50. 51 supply army compared to 45. And Militia are now making their way over a Stormbolt onto a Crypt Fiend as the Death Knight. Well, now makes its way through. Divine Shield straight up used onto that Paladin right off the bat as we're looking at the um, at the fight now getting underway. Divine Shield, that Paladin not going to absorb too much damage. Another Stormbolt goes down. A Holy Light trying to save some of those units again as the Death Knight now makes its way over. Fly Machines just well, daring any of the Obsidious Insidian statues to try and turn into a Destroyer as a Knight tries to double back off to the north. Okay, now the Mountain King does have a Mana Stone, a very powerful consumable item alongside that Potion of Invulnerability. That Mountain King should have plenty of mana indeed, and, and especially when the Archmage actually gets up to level 4. Thank you for the follow. Uh, um, as another Crypt Fiend gets taken down. Crypt Fiends, well, Obsidian Statue is now trying to retreat back here. Uh, Death Knight, well, Knight getting killed by the Death Knight's Death Coil as the units are retreating back once more. A Crypt Fiend getting denied right there as the units are now making its Mikhail. Uh, Mikhail, bro, um, thank you. As the uh, well, as the flying machines are now making their way back over. All right, a little bit of damage coming across here. Uh, Knight trying to get in front. Uh, are we going to see enough damage to finish off that new unit as well? Continuing all of that pressure, another Holy Light Stormbolt finishes off a unit there as the Archmage, Mountain King, and Paladin now makes their way over. Come, I'm coming. I know a lot of Michaels, so I don't know, or, or Mikels. And there's also professional players named Mikel, so um, don't know which which one you're, or who is who. Oh, no, it's, oh, it's verified. Oh, all right, thank you. Coming back through, Death, Death Knight. <laughs> Death Knight, Lich, all getting ready to well clear up and level up once more. Level 4, level 3 on the Death Knight and the Lich. Johnny Cage hasn't gotten really far, even though he has had this expansion for quite some time. Are we going to get the happy all-in special in just a little bit? That is the question. Happy has been known to sit around 50 supply for a little bit of time, mine out his gold, and then unsummon his buildings for an all-in special with about a 70 supply army. Um, normally at that point in time, he also has higher levels on his heroes as human players are often often set up an expansion of their own, but are, en but are behind in terms of level as Happy's harassment allows him to constantly put pressure on to the human army. Human army of Johnny Cage right now is sitting at 77 over 90. And the question is going to be whether or not he can trade efficiently um, with the larger army compared to Happy in order to well, make some sort of play and make sure that well, John, or Happy doesn't build too much of a lead. We are still looking at plus 21 damage. You can see that is some crazy, crazy damage on that Lich. Auto attacks are very fast as the Death Knight looks to get to level 5, and that Lich will probably be try to be right behind it as well. 
rod of necromancy waiting for that charge to be used picking up that final item is he gonna yep there he goes and now one and well are we gonna see a dark ritual as well nope no dark ritual needed as the lich is already maxed out on mana is 120 still in business yeah er 120 is still um still in business he still plays um and still is a very very entertaining player indeed as the storm bolt finds the death knight catching him up completely off guard here this could be a little bit of a problem death knight now trying to retreat back fly machines just staying up in the air waiting for something to happen staff of sanctuary being used by two of the heroes as the a death knight now still trying to retreat back here death knight has a potion of greater healing hasn't even been forced yet as a well crypt fiend gets healed up right there level five now on that death knight as the militia now joining in on the bat here we Best knife, which will quickly get taken down as the knights are there to challenge the Crypt Fiends, but a beautiful counter going after, good using possession to steal the knights instead. All right, Crypt Fiends trying to fight back here. 57 supply compared to 68. The possession, a two hit point swing as the Banshees now trying to retreat back once more. All right, getting in a little, little bit of curses. Archmage being forced to use the Scroll of Town Portal to get all of these units back. And this is the situation. Johnny Cage, even though he had the larger army, and ends up losing more than his opponent happy in that instance down to 50 uh, 59 supply there meanwhile i believe one did they get a, a kill onto any of those units i'm not quite sure coming back the other way archmage paladin and mountain king now making their way up, back off to the north here knight i'm clearing things up the snapper and the giant sea turtles well, picking up that item and trying to retreat back once more. Plenty of knights out here on the battlefield with 1-1 one, one upgrades. Um, what Animal War Training and Sundering Blades are on those knights as well, as the giant sea turtles will get finished up. Level 4 on the Archmage for level 2 Brilliant Sora. And now, all three human heroes have Staff of Sanctuary. That is going to be incredibly important as we're looking at, well, a little bit of damage coming back across here. Giant Sea Turtle quickly getting taken out, but I believe that was by Happy's Crypt Fiend Auto Attack, gaining a little bit more experience for that Lich. And, well, Slippers of Agility perhaps not going to get picked up, um, at least until the coast is clear. All right, Death Knight going to pick up those Slippers of Agility. Getting in a little bit more armor once more as we see the third base now being established by Happy. Excuse me, not, not by Happy, by Johnny Cage. Happy still sitting on one base and about four minutes away from that all-in special if all goes according to Happy's traditional plans. 79 supply compared to 67. But Happy is able to have a larger overall army because of the fact that he doesn't have to have and invest in all of these additional peasants. With that, there are 20 peasants out here on the battlefield with another five or six down across here to try and set up a new base. And it could be operational here in just a moment. And I don't believe, yeah, we do not have any of the fortified armor or or not fortified, the masonry upgrades at all as we're looking at the knights perhaps trying to make their way forward. Are we going to see some, well, a lot of banshees are ready to go. Banshees being used to counter the knights instead of destroyers. That would quickly change things up. And we are also looking at, well, anti-magic shell. All right, units are going to go ahead and try and engage mortar teams. Going to go straight after those banshees, focusing down all of those banshees in an instant there as the flying machines are still challenging things off here. Staff of Sanctuary saving a couple of units. Uh, Frost Nova trying to take down a couple of those mortar teams. Mortar teams, however, constantly being saved still as the mortar teams do also have the ground attack to go after all of those banshees and, and as they're well, unarmored units and taking additional damage. Archmage lost in the battle so far though. Mountain King and Paladin have to work by themselves now as a lot of disappearing acts in underway. Mountain King in trouble. Mountain King gets taken down and well the thing can continue to just snowball for Happy. Happy 51 supply compared to Johnny Cage's 58. Expansion is up. Dual Arcane Towers. Paladin is still alive at least for now. What can he really hope to do getting up to level 4 perhaps wishing that it extended the stay on that a divine shield just a little bit longer paladin is in quite a bit of trouble holy light trying to continue to continue to save as well 57 supply compared to 44 as the knights are looking to retreat back arcane tower and a mortar team looking to work a little bit of overtime as most of happy's units and um, are now well uh, are now knights only a crypt fiend is left as the flying machines are looking for new uh, targets as well mortar team trying to retreat back paladin is right there level two holy light saving up some of those units as the mountain king now back out here onto the battlefield mountain king taking up a frost nova right there there's another holy light to maneuver around as well mountain king does have bash but well things could
things could not be or may not end up well for him as the mountain king continuing the holy light and that or getting continually to get holy lights as the paladin now looks to retreat back here are we going to perhaps get an arcane or a scroll of regeneration and clarity potion for these additional units to be healed staff of sanctuary should also be used to try and save up some of those knights here as that knight is actually very very exposed in that forward position all right trying to continue to save all of these low hit point knights scroll of regeneration clarity potion all of this being used there using that e extra bit of additional gold meanwhile knights uh, while trying to take down this arcane tower getting possessed right there and switching allegiance as the arcane tower is well under a lot of repairs banshees now trying to make their way over however well, fly machines offering a bit of air support and air coverage as the paladin and the mountain king now able to make its way back over Stormbolt onto the knight could uh, lead to instantaneous death here. Knight, however, getting healed back up. Obsidian statue coupled with Stormbolt, um, well, coupled with um, Unholy Aura for better regeneration. You're my favorite caster, but you're always early in the morning for me. The evil Satan. Well, thank you. Um, well, check me out on YouTube as always. Archmage quickly getting healed back up. Once more, Archmage needs to turn back around. Orb of fire, incredibly important. Holy light needs to save the right there and does get the save as the Archmage now tries to retreat back, but once more gets Frost Nova instead. Archmage makes a short, short appearance for an encore, but ends up getting blasted down. Johnny Cage sitting at 80 supply compared to Happy's 49 right now, though, as the Obsidian statues are just absolutely retreating back. This is the situation that um, we are looking at. Level 5 on the Death Knight, level 5 on the Lich, hero level advantage, and continually trading much more efficiently as Happy goes into, well, um, his late, late game. Unsummoning a couple of buildings here, going to stay at 5th. 53 over 60 supply here in just a moment as we are looking at one one uh, ziggurat getting unsummoned once more knights getting into position archmage getting resurrected when you have all the gold in the world and time is a problem well spend the gold and if you if you don't have a time if you don't have time for that resurrection 80 over 96 supply Johnny Cage needs to figure out a way to spend that gold efficiently without giving um, his opponent any additional experience as that would open up level 6 on the Death Knight for level 3 on Holy Aura, making them that much faster and possibly even Death and Decay on the Lich, which makes them a much more challenging army as they can trade and take down buildings as well. Knights, 1 to 2 upgrades. Uh, right, Knight zero, 00 upgrade off on the other side. There's a Death Coil. But there was a quick, quick um, well, Staff of Sanctuary right there saving that Mortar team. It will get healed back up here in just a moment. Or the Death Knight could just come on over and say, you know what, let me do a follow-up. Uh, let me get a follow-up bit. And there's two auto attacks followed up with a Frost Nova from a level 5 Lich. A beautiful use of Staff of Sanctuary once more. Are we going to see a Holy Light again? Yes, a Holy Light right there constantly just trying to save as we see another Frost Nova repeat once more. Happy does not like those Mortar teams at all. And anyone who says that, well, the Mortar teams are strong because they can be healed by the Paladin has never fought against a Death Knight and a Lich. They are weak because they can get Frost nova and Death Coiled from the undead as well. All right, here's the all-in special. 53 supply compared to 83. Johnny Cage with a rather large army trying to push back the other way. This has been a constant battle here as the, well, I believe the expansion has all been cleared up. What you see is what you're going to get as the mortar teams are just lobbing those attacks, trying to finish down some of those units. And it looks as though one, a couple of possessions, well-timed staff of sanctuaries canceling those possessions right there. Beautifully done. And who would have known, a, 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 well, having three Staff of Sanctuaries with low cooldown would have been the difference there from stopping many of those Banshees from getting those targets. All right, a couple of Obsidian Statues could get taken down here. Archman still sitting at level four, pushing back the other way. The longer this fight goes, the better it is going to be for Johnny Cage, as Johnny Cage can still use a, the Paladin and still get a lot of healing going across and still do a little bit of long distance mining. Flying Machine is still not going anywhere. Johnny Cage could try and mine, bring some peasants over. Not quite sure why he isn't doing exactly that, as he needs every bit of gold that he can get. Archmage now making its way over. Are we going to see perhaps a couple of possessions here? This could be very, very bad news. Paladin, Divine Shield straight up into the very, very front. There goes a Frost Nova trying to save up some of those units. Another Banshee getting taken down. Banshee could try and go for a possession and does in fact get it. 
more and more knights are falling 50 supply compared to 68 the number of banshees is absolutely key if the banshees are able to get those possessions off then that is going to be a, a game changing moment there as the archmage takes a little bit more damage scroll of town portal no divine shield now or uh, sorry potion of invulnerability now onto the archmage archmage getting healed back up knights are going to start to fall 65 supply compared to 37 and it looks like happy is going to be at the end of his rope getting taken down here archmage not, may not even reach level five as the mortar teams are still lobbing those attacks so many peasants out here on the battlefield causing traffic surf for so many of these units 64 supply compared to 29 but 27 supply compared to 53 as the acolytes are still trying to retreat back and there are just so many knights out here onto the battlefield knights unable to keep up with the level 3 unholy aura of that death knight here as the banshees are turning back around are we going to perhaps get some possession no we are not the knights are trying to make their way back over a couple of quick um, surrounds onto a knight here surround onto the death knight death knight could be in some serious trouble scroll of town portal trying to finish off the mountain king mountain king is it going to end up getting taken down no mountain king down to 27 down to dead as the lich gets taken out as well and that is gonna be the game johnny cage taking out happy as the level six lich falls a split second before excuse me a split second before um the scroll of town portal is able to take him away a split second difference right there the difference between victory and defeat mountain king death had given the lich level six and perhaps all happy needed was a little bit of time to recharge to get back into this game well it wasn't given to him thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it